Place for everything. Everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, popular. Uh, good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh. Here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here. 
watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions, delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on... And, uh... And yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, had a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key group in lighting test for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough. Oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement, cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, AKA Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally, the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly, nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. 
He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? Sir, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking, Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, <sighs> I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m., be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course, we're in. I'll get from that, I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right, let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes it all glowy. We leave it behind it. You're right. This is gonna be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. This is gonna be great, guys. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me. No money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that may share information that could affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. You said that in Topeka. Dude is so rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. 
Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay, so now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. But the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Anything for a shot, right? I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. I'd like to take a couple weeks off, go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that concerning eye of yours, you know. I've got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on my own. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well... No, Mrs. Lonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. <laughs> Married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin. You know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Right. That's probably it. Yeah, just looking at the light on the mist. How is that going to fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. 
There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly... We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. This thing hasn't been manned in ages. And why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the fog. It's all automatic now. Locked tight. Fish factory to close. Exciting times. This looks pretty old. What's that? Just some old coin. Find the penny. Get up. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> Christ, what the hell is that? Nice to meet you, too. Jeez. 
just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. What in God's name is this? Ah! It moved. What? The thing. It moved. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, it's all right. Come on. We better get back. Got him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That 